My name is Casey Bartram. I'm the executive director of TIFO, and I actually started out with TIFO um, early, early on with the organization, and then ended up in graduate school at the University of Idaho. I had already been working on the Nigeria project for a couple years when I started my grad program, and I was able to use that project as the subject of my dissertation. So we were doing environmental cleanup in Nigeria in communities impacted by lead poisoning related to artisanal gold mining. And um, I looked at environmental exposures and uh, a little bit into the health outcomes and the efficacy of remediation in improving health uh, for the affected communities. The Nigeria project was incredibly intense in every way. We were working in the middle of Sahel. It was 110 degrees outside every day. We were working with communities that relied almost exclusively on artisanal gold mining to feed their families. But that ended up being the same thing that poisoned thousands of children. So it would be a really cut and dry solution to say, well, you just stop mining, you remediate the area, and that's the end of the project. And that's probably something that would have been taken straight out of a classroom textbook um, and into the field. The problem is you can't stop mining when it's the only option that people have to, to make a living. And so those kinds of lessons and being a part of the projects in the long term to identify solutions and take the knowledge that we come in with and, and integrate it with the local realities and the knowledge that the people in those communities have that's, that's not something that you could ever get in a classroom. There's all of these uh, concepts and principles that we learn in classrooms about water quality management and about managing mining waste. And then you get to the field and you realize most of these communities don't have the resources to do the gold standard in any of those things. So what's the solution that we can support developing and how can students really be engaged in that and that creative problem solving? Um, those, are the, those are the things that people take so much away from. The other thing I would say is there's a moment that every educator talks about when they see students light up because they suddenly get it. And I've taught in classrooms, so I, I've seen that in the classroom. And I've also worked with students in whole bunch of different settings around the world um, and that same thing happens when when they're um, working in Peru or working in Nigeria or working in Uzbekistan that same moment happens when they suddenly realize that the knowledge that they have about water filtration technology or um, how to use GIS to um, map and analyze for contaminated sites happens in the field, it, it's just a little bit brighter, like that light up moment that the students have. And that's really what we're all investing in, is that moment where students really begin to see why it's so important um, to work on these projects and, and fostering that passion for um, working in this field and seeing how to truly help in respectful and effective ways. On a personal level for me, I absolutely feel like I owe, I have to pay something forward because so many people invested so much in me. Mentoring and teaching and still to this day, they're doing that and so I feel a real obligation, no, responsibility. I feel a real responsibility um, and I feel it's an honor to be able to pay that forward. The other piece of it that's important, that's more about TIFO's mission, is that at our heart, we're really about education and capacity building. And that's not, that's not limited to the communities that we work in. We really see the need to build workforce capacity around the world, including here in the US. And the more that we can engage students in these projects to take what they learn in the classroom and be able to apply it in these other settings where people are dealing with some of the worst environmental problems in the world. Um, that's really how we're going to achieve our mission. That's where we're going to reach that vision that we have of seeing all communities with the knowledge and skills to protect future generations 
and maintain livelihoods, so getting students a better exposure to finding that balance of solving these problems but solving them in collaboration with other people. That's why having students from all over involved in this is so important because they're the ones who are going to continue this work in the future.